the biggest event of the summer is finally upon us in SummerSlam, which takes place tomorrow on PLE. There are currently seven matches listed on the card, which don't include The Miz or our truth or the World Tag Team Championships, which has completely baffled me. But without further ado, let's go. If any of you would like to be updated on any future videos I'm about to release, or just to follow me in general, you can follow me on X at www.x.com forward slash man like fresh. So let's kick off my predictions with what I believe will be the second most important match on the card, which would be World Heavyweight Champion Damien Priest defending his championship against the King of the Ring the ring general, the former intercontinental champion, Gunta. So this build up between these two over the last couple of weeks has been absolutely amazing. Honestly, I didn't actually think this match would deliver in build up as it, as it has, because obviously as time has gone on, they've not been focused on this. But now we know that Damien Priest is going in here as the baby face and Gunta is going in as the classical international heel that everyone hates and loathes. I know WWE has got plans for Gunther and I would like Gunther to win, but in this scenario, I want Damien Priest to win. I mean, it's probably not going to happen, but I'm going to put it out there. My prediction is Damien Priest retains his World Heavyweight Championship. It ain't going to be an easy battle for him, but he will retain. These two will probably fight somewhere down the line, but I feel... For storyline with Finn Balor in the future, Damien to win and retain. So, something I haven't actually mentioned, every single match on this card, with the exception of uh, the final one, which I'll talk about, is a championship match. And Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker 2 it's the second match I'm going to focus on. Now, Sami Zayn walked out of Money in the Bank with his head still in his head and didn't lose any body parts, did not have any body parts broken. God knows how he didn't because Braun Breaker absolutely brutalized him in that match. However, like I said before, when Sami Zayn is backed into a corner, he comes out winning. Now, that doesn't mean that now they should have put Braun Breaker back in this match because now that Braun Breaker is getting another opportunity at the IC Championship, it means he has to win. There is no saids, no buts. He can't win under disqualification because this is SummerSlam. This is like the biggest uh, event of the year after WrestleMania. It can't happen. Braun Breaker needs to win this match. If he doesn't win this match, and doesn't win the IC Championship from Sami Zayn, his stock will drop. So my prediction is, Braun Breaker, new Intercontinental Champion. Don't ask me how, but he's going to be, not even going to be, he has to win this match and become champion. Now we focus on the first of two women's championship matches. Let's focus on SmackDown's WWE Women's Champion, Bayley, defending her championships against the Queen of the Ring, a former women's champion in her own right in Nia Jax. Now, there are lots of combustible elements in this. You have Mi Ching, who is kind of back in Bailey, and you then have Tiffany Stratton, who is also back in Nia Jax. However, Tiffany Stratton is the money in the bank holder for the women's division. So does that mean she could cash in in this match? I don't know, but this build up between these two has not been as great as it should be. It's been focused on too many external factors, but my prediction will be Nia Jax to win the WWE Women's Championship and probably have Tiff Stratton, Tiffany Stratton cash in on her ass. So, once again, Nia Jax to win 
and Tiffany Stratton to cash in on her mentor, allegedly best friend, Nia Jax, to become new women's champion. And now it's time for possibly the most lacklustre United States champion in history. No fault of his own, Logan Paul, defending against Mr. L.A. Knight. Yeah. Now, one of the reasons why I say Logan Paul is a bit lacklustre is that he has defended that championship maybe five or six times since he won it this time last year. I think he won it maybe towards uh, the end of 2023 and now he's still got it. But now... There are two factors that were going to play a factor in this match. Now, this build-up between these two has been going on for quite a while. But if you've been reading the media as of late, Logan Paul's got himself into a little bit of hot water due to some controversial comments he made about a certain boxing Olympic match, which I'm going to reserve my views for because I have my own points about this, but that's not this is not the time to talk about this. So, if everyone's going on that Logan Paul should lose his championship to LA Knight, deservedly so. But I feel, due to the controversial issues that Logan Paul has found himself in, irrespective of what the plans were for Logan Paul, LA Knight is walking out with this championship. He deserves it. He needs it. His stock needs it. Logan Paul, lose your championship, hand it over and give the flowers to Mr. LA Knight. Yeah! Speaking of build-ups of matches that are due to take a rivalry to another level, we have Liv Morgan defending her World Women's Championship against a woman who never lost her championship to begin with in Mami, Rhea Ripley. So, Rhea Ripley has literally just returned in a couple of weeks ago with all the shenanigans that Liv Morgan's been doing to take Dominic Mysterio and all of that and trashing Judgment Day's locker room However, I feel due to how well Mummy was doing, Mummy could get her championship back. However, I still think there is a snake in the grass that could stop that from happening. And I'm sorry to say it, I feel Dominic Mysterio's inner Eddie Guerrero may come out tonight and he might stab Mamacita in the back and go for the blonde haired Liv Morgan. So my prediction is. Liv Morgan to retain her Women's World Championship due to interference by Eddie Guerrero's son, Dominic Mysterio. So, if it doesn't happen, I'll be shocked. But yeah, Liv Morgan to retain her championship through interference by Dominic. And now I focus on the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, who will be taking on the bloodline leader, the self-proclaimed bloodline leader, shall I say, Solo Sokoa for the undisputed WWE Championship. Now, to say that Solo Sokoa is punching beyond his means is an understatement. Not only is he getting a shot for the WWE Championship, but he's getting it on the second grandest stage of them all. Like, come on WWE. This card, to be honest, is quite lackluster. I cannot lie. For a super card like SummerSlam, I expected the card to be a bit more stacked, to probably have main event caliber matches that are of worthy for this type of PLE. But anyway, we have what we have. And we have a dominating leader in Solo Sokoa. But can I see Solo Sokoa win the WWE Championship? Hell no. I hope he doesn't. Because if he does, I do not know what they have in store. But my prediction will be Cody Rhodes to retain his championship. And probably watch out for Roman's return or any other blood ex-Bloodline member's return to help fight off Bloodline 2.0. So Cody to win and retain. And it's now time for what I believe should be the main event of this whole PLE. Drew McIntyre taking on CM Punk for the very first time ever 
and having Seth Rollins as a special guest referee. Now, Seth Rollins being a guest special guest referee is not really my concern. It doesn't matter who referees the match. All I care about is this match is because look at the build up. This build up has three people that hate each other. And you have two people that hate each other even more in CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. And yet there's been no real physicality in ring wise between the two of them. This has possibly been the best story build up in the entire WWE universe as we speak right now in the in in the last 12 months. It probably even to the extent it's almost as good as Cody versus Roman build up. And even the Rock build up. I'm telling you now. This match is going to be absolutely fantastic. However, Mr. X Factor Seth Rollins, he hates CM Punk probably more than Drew McIntyre. I give this match to Drew McIntyre due to interference by Seth Rollins. So that's going to be a problem in its own. With all my predictions now covered, stay tuned for my final thoughts. I think Braun Breaker really needs to win the IC Championship this time around, otherwise it will damage his mystique and he may never recover if he loses again to Sami Zayn. A few months ago they were the hottest team in the whole of WWE, now they are nowhere to be seen on the card. Come on WWE, what's going on? Bring Cargill and Bianca out. Could the Tribal Chief and Mr Paul Heyman be returning? And if they do return, in what capacity and in what form? With the way the bloodline has been dominating every single person on SmackDown, could even Roman defeat them now, as this team seems to be stronger than the original bloodline? It is time for WWE to give LA Knight his flowers. Let LA Knight win the United States Championship from F from Logan Paul, yeah? Do not damage him any more than you have already. Finally, Cena has stated that he is now at the end of his career. Should Cena win a world championship before he retires at WrestleMania next year? Before you guys leave, kindly do me the greatest honor by subscribing to my YouTube channel, by clicking on subscribe, and by following me on my only social media platform of X at www.x.com forward slash man like fresh, where you'll be updated with any future videos which are about to come out whether it be my wrestling videos or my gaming videos or my top 20s. So until next time guys, see you at the next video. Look after yourselves and take care. Bye bye.